Good kitten internet. That, er, that creature right there, that's totally the reason why this is my second recording of this. Um, hi, Zone Kitty. Anyway, uh, if you haven't already watched, I highly recommend watching the outtakes video. I'll make sure there's a link in the description to it. Uh, long story short, Zone decided I shouldn't be recording and I really needed to hydrate. So I am, in fact, hydrating now. Also, the last video that we had, I abruptly stopped it, and the reason being that I had friends coming over, and I didn't realize how late I was running. Not to mention one of my friends has a tendency to arrive 15 minutes early when I don't want him to. Anyway, um, so I kind of abruptly stopped last video. Uh, today is Sunday, um, the 28th of October for me, so I'm not that ac I'm actually not that far ahead anymore because... As I mentioned before, I was making these videos in advance, specifically because I knew I wasn't going to be recording much this weekend. So let's get back to it, and I'll start talking about my weekend while I'm at it. Uh, so many saves. Okay. So, uh, I believe the last thing that I was doing, I was in, was I enchanting things or selling things? That's all enchantable, or already enchanted, I mean. So those are cell bait for sure. Just put that in a potion now, or bottle now. There we go. This will do nicely. Okay. Um, that's cell bait. Yeah, these are the things that I need to evaluate. These things will be sold, but not here. I might as well just sell those while I'm at it. Anyway, so my weekend has been a bit interesting, to put it politely. Um, ooh, nice. Basically, I had bought a mount for my monitor. I had mentioned that I had received my new monitor, and I bought a mount for it. It arrived on Thursday. I was planning on this weekend to set it up, and, well, bad things happened. Let me show you the bad things. So the mount has a C-clamp. Um, think of it like this. And the problem was that there, it didn't go deep enough. So my desk has a bevel going along the outside edge, and what I needed was a deep clamp so it would actually clamp onto a solid part. What ended up happening was, well, this. This is actually the way it was clamped. Uh, there we go, over there. Um, when I had to put in a wooden shim because it wouldn't actually clamp down enough to begin with, and even when it did clamp enough, well, it you can see how far the clamp in went. Uh, basically, it put most of the pressure on the beveled edge rather than the flat edge. And whenever I had both monitors attached, well, that happened. So I ended up having to take apart the mount again, which takes a lot of work, and I don't have much in the way of upper body strength. Um, it actually weakens me really fast. And basically took it all apart again, uh, put it back in its box, returned it back to Amazon. Um, luckily, there's an Amazon pick up location here so I can just return it easily without having to pay extra fees and so on. So I'm back on my existing mount. I've got new mounts arriving tomorrow because apparently one day shipping was free anyway. And well, hopefully round two will go better. Um, on the plus side, I have fixed the monitor issue where if the desk rocked, the monitor would get disconnected. I bought extension cords for everything, and I've re-cable managed everything, where basically the extension cord ends at the top of my desk, so it doesn't matter if I'm raising or lowering my desk, everything will work out the same. Because I can also raise and lower the monitor once I get the proper monitor mount in. So yeah, been fun weekend. That's cell bait, that's cell bait. You can fit that somewhere. It's great. Uh, that's cell bait. Yeah, all of these are cell bait. Uh, 
All right, let's see if I can actually use that plus 10 spell points thing. So that's probably actually better than the plus 11 personality, to be honest, let's see. Um, so plus 11 personality, that puts it at 166 or 232. Yeah, at the level that I am, because I'm going to have Day of the Gods up at all times, so I should really just be looking at the green numbers. At the level I am, this is responsible for five spell points. This grants more than five spell points. Unfortunately, it grants intellect, which is kind of useless, but... Yeah. But hey, congratulations, you finally have more than 100 intellect. Um, next up is this one, intellect plus 22. Unfortunately, my regen spell point items are on those sorcerers, so I'm just going to stash it in Ed's inventory for the time being. Uh, speed 22. Honestly, I actually don't need speed anymore. So the way this works, and I could probably quickly mock this up in OBS. Um, wrong window. That's the right window. So the way this ends up working for stat bonuses is that various stats have various effects. And let me see if I can do part of a window here really fast. Um, oh, I, I was trying to show you the spell effect differences and I still had the other picture up. My apologies. So let's do window capture. Or actually. Can I do partial display capture? Nope. I've got display inception. That does not in fact work. I'm just doing great for this video, let me tell you. Uh, okay, so window capture. Nope, that's not going to work. So. Let's do a window capture now. Hopefully this will actually work. This is great video, let me tell you. Um, that's the correct. What? Why is this a black screen? I am so confused. Oh, forget it. I will just do a screenshot of this and create a video out of this. Or create an image out of this. Ah, this is very exciting, let me tell you. Such excite, very happy. Uh, let's see. Okay, got that. Browse to my file share. Do, 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 do. extra two, sure and up. So this is actually the table of what the stats actually mean. So the, this is what I had mentioned before about the stats being diminishing returns, namely the higher stat that you have, the less the effect ends up being for each step. And at this point in the game for us, um, let me go, I have too many windows open. So at this point of the game for us, so our lowest speed in the group is 114, I believe. Yep, 114. 114 speed is the equivalent of plus uh, minus 11 to reaction time, which is pretty good, don't get me wrong. But it's really only helpful for Ed, our slow sloth. Everybody else, the reaction time is going to be like, you know, down really, really low. Increasing speed up into the uh, beyond 150 is probably not worth it actually. So increase of speed is really only useful for Ed and Regina. So the speed plus 22. Do I have any speed increasing things right now? Yes, I do. I will just drop the eight, seven cold resistance. Let's go ahead and place that there. Now my speed is 160, so I'm over 150, I'm fine. Finally, these two rings, AC and accuracy. Um, how am I, uh, accuracy is not a stat I've been focusing on much as it. Um, do you actually have any, yeah, you have accuracy 11. 
this was 16, yeah. Damn it. I am just not with it today, apparently. And I'm not going to worry about the AC. Amulet of Luck. Yeah, no. Cold Resistance 22. Does anybody have a helm that that would not be a bad idea on? No. No, they do not. Then we have the dagger and the sword. Sword's not going to fit anywhere. Dagger will. Let's move more cell bait away. This I am holding on to. This is cell bait. And we're going to start actually dropping her inventory size a bit. Um, she really doesn't need to hold this many potions. Really doesn't need this many. So anyway, let's exit turn-based mode. Start selling the weapons. So let's sell the armor so I actually have inventory space for the rest of the weapons. Sell, 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 sell. That's enchant bait. Right, right. Enchant. Turns plus 10. That's also sell bait now. Sell all the rest of the things. I forgot to sell the stupid shield. Dang it. Then last and most certainly not least, sell over here. That's what I was afraid of. Fine. I'll sell over here, which I keep forgetting is actually useful for me to sell to now. At least in New Serpical. It's probably not useful anywhere else. And yeah, that's not needed. Okay. So now we're sold up, I believe. Uh, I want to sell some of these ones. I'll keep the mass distortion. I'll sell the rest. That's also sell bait. I should also look up what bonuses I get for the deck of fate. Uh, deck of fate's randomized, if I remember correctly. Here, let's sell this stuff first. Quick save. Now let's use the deck of fate. Right, or is the deck of fate skill points? Nope, that was random. Yeah. So this month is Endurance, because probably the Shrine of Endurance would be my guess. And later on in the month that you go, the better the Endurance bonus would be. And the same is for bonuses for any other month. So I like using those for skill points. I don't remember what skill point month was. Uh, let's find out. Deck of Faint and Six. All right, um, oh, there isn't one for skill points. That's the lamp that you get skill points. It's just the same stat increases as it is for, uh, whatchamacallit, um, burp, 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 burp. Same, stat in, uh, same stat months as the shrines. So anyway, let's actually go do something for the first time this game, or this episode. I'm doing great, let me tell you. Okay. So. Current quests. Entertain Nikolai is actually the current quest that we've been trying to do, and, well, that's not going to work very well. Um, Hourglass of Time, that's probably what we need to do next. Um, Altar of the Moon, Temple of the Moon, on a night of a full moon. We are nowhere near a full moon right now. Um, Slicker of Silver Tongue, Book of Liches and Dark. Uh, yeah, the last two aren't going to happen yet. Um, yeah, I think it's time to go deal with the Hourglass of Time. Oh boy. So this is a lot of. And remember when I mentioned before that the first dungeon people really start hating is the Temple of Ba. Well, people usually hate that dungeon until they get to this dungeon. This dungeon is a genuine candidate for the most obnoxious dungeon in the game. But in this case, the reason isn't puzzles or anything. The reason is because the enemies in here are really nasty. 
right, and we are back in here. You can already see fireballs going everywhere because that's fun. Move in and out because. Oh, so speedrun stats. We done. These are the reason why people hate this dungeon. Oh, um, so this is actually what the Horn of Ross does. You notice that it now has the hit points on the creature. So you can actually now get people's current hit points, um, which is nice. You have 14 left. That's arrow range. Um, fire elementals are obnoxious. They hit hard and break things constantly. Also, they tend to hide. And this dungeon has a lot of vertical to deal with. Oh, and they also don't give you any loot. Because reasons. So, this is just a really annoying dungeon for all, oh so many reasons. Um, what was your secondary magic? Air. I mean, technically light, but reality air. So, we're going to lightning bolt you. Oh, it was just a beast. For some reason, I thought that was the elemental. Never mind. So, technically, in this, you could probably do most of this dungeon really, really fast. It's actually a great dungeon to speedrun. It's just obnoxious in general. There's the lever I was looking for. That lever unveils the drawbridge. That's the fire elemental. Explosion! Ice Dolt. If I remember right, they have no resistance to water at all, but I believe they do have resistance to magic. Yep. Everything has resistance to magic. Yes, Son, are you going to knock down more bottles on top of my head? Or are you going to be a nice kitty and just say hi? You're being a nice kitty. Thank you. Alright, are you serious? Oh, line of sight in this game is so weird. We're just going to switch you to that as your ready spell. Because, yeah, let's be honest. So this is 1d8 per point of damage. This is d10, 10 plus d10 per point of damage. This is definitely more efficient. Okay. Technically, if I wanted efficient, static charge is free, but... You actually have to use dark magic to deal any damage to things, and it's not worth wasting all of your magic. Uh, are you immune to Toxic Cloud? Yes, of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? Probably actually put on my headphones so I can hear what's going on and you don't have a nasty echo. I've rearranged some things with the reorganization of my desk. There. It's not so hard once I actually melee them but trying to get into melee range in this dungeon is so obnoxious. There. Guess it could be worse. I believe in Might Magic 7, they explode. Hey, guess what type of creatures are here? They're fire elementals. I'm sorry, I ruined the surprise for you. I don't think there was anything down below here. Hi zone. But let's find out. Save. Oops. Darn it. Uh, no. And those usually just teleport you back. These are the other reasons why this dungeon's annoying. Basically, this is the a mage's worst nightmare dungeon. It's actually really easy if you have an all-night party. It's the only time in this game I can say that phrase. Three. <sighs> yep, somebody's going insane. Honestly, I think I'm just going to keep the insanity. 
It's just not worth curing insanity in this dungeon. It's just gonna happen so often. So personality does decrease, which means I'm losing some of my magic capability. Um, oddly enough, insanity is perfectly fine on a knight. Naturally, that's the one that didn't get hit. Let's just fight her trap to disarm this one, I think. Oh, it's not even trapped. That's enchant bait. That's enchant bait. That's garbage. That's money. That's... Actually, that is enchantable, isn't it? Okay. So, we've seen two of the enemy types in here. They're all annoying. So, fun thing about this particular room, and I want to see if it will... It's not happening to me again. But this room over here isn't drawn correctly. And on some versions of the game, and some speeds of processor, I'm not sure exactly what triggers it, the rooms actually overlap each other. So you'll see the enemies in the room walking around in the hallway. They can't see you because the enemies think that they're in the room. But as per anything else in this um, game, as long as you can see them, you can melee them. The enemies, all being ranged enemies, can't see you, or don't have line of sight to you, so they can't attack you. It's a really weird way of handling things. Do, 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 do. And also that's an annoying puzzle, but I should not need to deal with that puzzle, actually. I can just skip over it. Anyway, knock knock. It wasn't this room, it was a different room that's overlapping. The only way to deal with sorcerers is to basically just run in and kill all of them. I should probably have cast Hour of Power now that I think about it. Yeah, let's do more damage. This is also one of the dungeons where you can get stun locked really easily. Oh, so, fun thing I learned about how Vampiric works. So, for um, Regina's weapon at the moment, right? Right, for Mordred. Um, you only drain life if you don't kill them. So that's the reason why sometimes you'll see me attack and not do anything. The reason why is that I'm killing the enemy, so I don't gain hit points. It's really weird. Apparently it's that way for Might Magic 6 and 7 and... May or may not be for eight. Eight redid how vampiric works, so it's kind of hard for me to tell. I don't remember what causes that to open now. And welcome to my worst nightmare. Um, dramatic light does nothing. I'm just going to move away. So what you're supposed to do in this dungeon is use these levers to move bridges that go, like the bridge is right there right now. Move the levers to move the bridges back and forth and then you run up and down these tunnels to try to link things together. Basically the goal is to get over to the left. That's it, that's the entire goal is to get to the left. And naturally I go into turn-based mode while I'm stuck. Oh, you just broke something. Why would you break? A ring. Oh, something else I just learned. There's actually a priority system in how things get broken. Which I never knew. But I started figuring out in this video series and then started looking things up. And then found out that my theory was correct. Basically, the level of the item itself dictates one of these torches actually does things is it that side will you stop jibber jabbering around maybe it's I need to hit that teleporter let's find out nope 
code. This one just opens and closes doors, which you can't see on Wizard Eye for reasons. We've got that one, which opens and closes doors. We've got that one, which opens and closes doors. We've got this one, which opens and closes doors. And then we've got that one down there, which I believe is the thing that rotates the bridge. That might be the floor below mine. Anyway, whole point is to get over to the side and across and up. You know what spell is really good for going up? Jump. This is why you don't actually need to worry about this in this game. What I don't remember, though, is if I can do this on this patch of the game. Yep, totally can. That's actually all you need to do for reference. I think this one I can um, now reach that secret door. Let's jump back. I don't remember for sure now. I want to make sure I at least get the treasure, even if I'm not doing the puzzle correctly. Darn it. Okay. Um, well, darn it. Did I actually close off every way I have? No, I couldn't have. Because this way is still here. Um, I think that's, the, yep, that's this one with treasure. Treasure, yay, treasure. Uh, fighter trap disarm. There's no trap. You are enchantable. The rest of you goobers can stay. Oh, you can go. You're actually worth money. Same with you. I'll just drop them later if I need to. Yes. Divine Intervention Scroll, hell yes. I've been looking for Divine Intervention. Yeah, that sounds off. Um. Anyway, let's go back down here and jump again. How am I doing on hour and 58 minutes? I'm doing much better on spell durations now that I actually have some ranks. Speaking of divine invention, I could just cast it right now. I think I'm going to. So divine invention cures all status effects, brings everybody back to maximum hit points and back to maximum spell points. But, it ages the caster by 10 years. So she's now 33, and that's good because I want my casters to be middle-aged. Uh, door won't budge, there. Just open the damn door. Right, this room, okay. No, can't just close it again. Yeah, everybody's gonna go insane. I don't even know why I bothered casting Divine Intervention. Maybe I should just this is the room that I'm concerned about getting stunt locked in, basically. <sighs> All right, something else happened to them. Not sure, actually. That might be stun. Okay, need to get rid of the warlocks. They're the nasty ones. Uh, let's go ahead and throw out a shared life. Mm, that might not have actually been worth throwing out. Yeah, that wasn't worth throwing out. Oh well. Okay, you're the next set of warlocks, so. You're going after, getting after next. Yeah, I should have just waited on using the scroll of divine intervention. And you all. So this is why I normally don't bother curing insanity. It's just not worth it. Just stay insane. And you're the only one standing.
so many crappy staves. That's actually not that crappy of a stave. Well, too bad I don't need it because I don't use staves. By the way, this is actually just a treasure room. Power staff is definitely enchant bait. Useless, useless, useless. I think all of these were useless or just decoration. Yeah. Let's go ahead and switch okay. you back to cure wounds and heal yourself was what I was trying to say. That's worth money. That's worth money. It's worth money. Letter to Marcus. Brother, we soon will need whatever you can provide us in the way of weapons. With Garrick gone, you'll have full control over the facilities of the forge. I need you to leverage that control into aid for us. Soon we will have we'll be able to strike at the heart of our enemies. Soon you will have a place with me as ruler of Enroth. What's with their faces? Seriously? Uh, yeah. Is this the elevator? No. That's right, elevator's much later. What the heck am I doing? How about all of you just die, please? Okay, thank you. Your true crossbow, that's in champ bait. And you are money. That's money bait. Money, money. Ornate spear. Also enchant bait. That's cell bait. Cell bait. Cell bait. Enchanted. Or er, trapped. Uh, protect from cold. Everybody already knows it. Money, 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 money. That's enchant bait. Ooh, I'm actually getting full on enchant stuff. Okay. Enchantable, that's cell bait. Scrap for Garrick's journal. It's not one thing, it's another. Now Archibald wants me to work on equipping his army with the best items I can create. I've been forced to move here from Alamos so I can continue my work as quickly as possible in completing that request. I've left the damned crystal he was so concerned about with my colleagues in Alamos. Hopefully they'll be able to reach some conclusion about it soon, though I wish Archibald would make up his mind about what he wants done. So that gives you a hint that Castle Alamos actually does have something in it. And it absolutely does. Mm, now is a good time for shared life. Anyway, this is actually where we need to go. Let's throw up a power cure, a save, an open. Are you the stairwell up or are you the elevator? You're the elevator. Okay. So far, this hasn't actually been too bad, but that's because we're not at the bad part yet. Down here is the bad part. How am I doing? I have an hour remaining. I think now might not be a bad time to start curing insanity for a bit. Well, not on the night. It literally only affects intellect and personality. So it's really just so I actually have a ma higher maximum amount of spell points. Because all three of them regenerate spell points. Um, I really wish I had Cure Weakness as an area of effect ability. Okay. That was probably a mistake. I'm probably just going to go insane again. I also don't know what the ding ding is actually indicating in this case. This is where things get bad. 
Because that. This is the reason why I can't do the dungeon earlier in the game. It's because it's really easy to get stun locked. You'll actually notice me running back after a moment or three. Because otherwise I'm just going to get stun locked to hell. Also, you'll notice that I did this after getting boosts to... Um, which we call it my armor skills, and the reason for that is so I wouldn't get stun locked as easily. See, there are there is actually method to my madness. <sighs> Fine. Ugh. Freaking hell! There's too many of them. Also, I have got to get her with a freaking vampiric weapon already. 160 hit points. You have seven hit points. Take 45. Okay, now it's time for me to run back. Heal up a little bit. Uh, are you serious? As I was saying, heal up a little bit before I was so rudely interrupted by Regina going insane. Power cure. And finally, a shared life should be good. I can throw in one more power cure. There we go. All right. So, usually, what I end up doing if I go through a low level run of this place is that I just run to that room and ignore everything else. I'm not doing that this time. I'm actually trying to kill everything. Which means I have to make sure that everything's dead. Oh yeah, also you'll notice fire elementals coming. Because of course they are. obnoxious. Uh, power cure wasn't worth it. I have somebody at maximum hit points after all. You're not the one I was aiming toward, dang it. Do you see why this dungeon's so annoying now? It's still not the most annoying dungeon in the game, by the way. We've got a long way to go before we hit that. You're at three hit points, just die, thank you. And yes, I know you're there. Okay. Now we've got that part. Got that. Now I can actually go loot these bodies. Now that I'm no longer getting shot at everywhere. Ugh. So annoying, this dungeon. This way, by the way, doesn't actually have anything that we need. I'm going down there anyway because there's some fire elementals. Everyone's favorite type of enemy. How am I doing on 17 minutes? Yeah, you should recast. Also, keep in mind that I have a really high level day of protection up, so I actually have really nice magic resistances. Just imagine if I didn't. Just, it doesn't take much imagination. Sorry, Zen, you have to reposition. He's on my lap, by the way. He's still very cute. Even if he did knock everything over into me. Oh. 
Also, if you walk in lava, everything will start hurting. We broke that. I'm wondering if they do have a small amount of water resistance now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. I'm gonna jump over for a moment. Oops, I did not mean to do that. And you broke another ring. What I'm trying to do is actually get closer to the swarm so I can actually use melee attacks and oh, you broke a bunch of things. It's fixed. It's fixed. As good as new. As good as new. I don't know why she's Scottish. She is though. She had life, which oddly enough heals my knight at this point. You are heavily damaged. There we go. Look at how much damage I'm doing on just melee attacks. It's glorious. I mean, it's not even just my knight. It's all of my characters doing crap tons of damage. It's great. Yep, I'm in trouble. If only I had a good area of effect spell that was not fire. <sighs> Alas, that is not my place. Okay, I think I need to run because I am starting to get at risk for a slight stun lockage. I mean, these guys aren't difficult. It's just that there's so many of them. Okay, those guys on the other hand are difficult. Melee time. Power cure. They're all archery range. Okay. Can you implode, please? Uh, how about a nice dolt? Still not doing damage fast enough. Again, I am actually the appropriate level for this place. I am not under leveled, I am actually the almost exact correct level for this place. Okay, got that. Pass, pass. Power gear. This would be so much easier if there was a roof that was shorter. So you'll notice occasionally I can get in melee attacks and then I'm fine. Why am I holding on to that? Yeah, why am I holding on to that? Just sell that. Almost taken care of. There we go. Finally. Ugh. Shared life. And there's lots of loot down here, by the way. Not necessarily good loot, but it's loot. Eric sword, money. That's actually not a bad ring. Jump over. Money. Mace of the gods. All right, this just made it worth it. And, ooh, that's actually really nice plate. That is better plate than what you're wearing in my mind, because you have regenerate hit points. Um, do you currently have regen hit points anywhere? I don't think you do, actually. It's part of the reason why you're so low on hit points all the time. Yep, nope, oops. you are now wearing that. Hooray, it was actually worth coming down there. By the way, I have another power cure. Um, to answer somebody else's question, no, there is no way to drain spell points from anybody in the game. 
you can only drain hit points. All right. This room has a bunch of mages in it, again. Again, the only way you can deal with any of this place is going into melee. Phew, I definitely don't have inventory capacity for that. Um, I want to keep both. Also, you should actually repair this. Just because it bothers me to have broken things. Everybody's insane. Hooray! Just like reality. That's a garbage staff. I'm still shocked I actually found one of those enchanted. Alright, these are all useless crystals if I remember correctly. Oh, that's what it is. I need high enough perception. Well, let me go back to the other crystal room. How far away was that anyway? Not that far. I'm going to do that now while I'm thinking about it. Double time. Whee! While I'm at it, let's go ahead and start healing. That was just down this hall and over here. Yeah. That makes more sense now. Like, I thought there was something useful in here. It's based off of perception. It's one of the few ways where you can actually use your master perception. That's why I got it. Oops. Moving too fast. Whee! Okay, I'm gonna stop running as fast just so I don't screw up. Uh, two hours, I'm fine. Make sure, yeah, you are useless. It's another one of those that you can just jump through things, but in this case, I don't want to because I really don't feel like falling constantly. Jump's a really useful spell, don't get me wrong, but I tend to avoid it just so I don't accidentally fall through the world. Oops. Or do some stuff like that. Okay. And this is where I have more fire elemental hell, isn't it? Yep. Thank you. You also die, please. And yes, I see the mages down there. How are we at? 48 minutes, and I am still dealing in Garrick's Forge. There. Wasn't there something on one of these? I want to say it's this side. No, it's just the way up. Yeah, nothing else. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Where's my quick save? Yeah. Let, we're just reloading that. All right. This is the final room, I want to say? Yes. The final room. There are four warlocks. And now we get music again, because this game is weird in the way it handles whether you need music or not. Just die, thank you. You also just die. Alright, and we are in green because we have finished looting things. Or finished killing things. You have another one of those staves. You have a bookcase. That is cure paralysis. That's cell bait. That's speed. That's cell bait. Heroism, cell bait. Heroism, spell, cell bait. Alright, can I even theoretically 
fit. Oh, you should be using this. Can I even theoretically fit that staff in? Um, yes. Yes, I can. Oops. However, I can't fit anything in here, unfortunately. Oh, there's an amulet. Yeah, another thing of earth magic. Good job, game. Alright, back up as far as I can because I know this trap. This thing's trapped. Mine, telekinesis. Yep, don't care. Money, 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 money. This is our objective. See our glass of time. That is actually really nice armor too. Drat. Okay. So I lose. So that's fire resistance and hit point regeneration. You already have hit point regeneration, right? Right? Yeah, you have an amulet of hit point regeneration. So amulet of hit point regeneration. I would love to have that amulet slot back. That armor that you're wearing is really good. But so is that. That's actually a lot better in my mind. So let's make this work. Yeah, I'm just going to have to hold this in my hand, aren't I? Yep. And then here, we're going to put that back in. And I have an amulet that I was going to sell. Yeah, that one. Here, have some spell points. Okay, I am definitely going to find a way to bring this back. What I may end up having to do is enchant in here. Or I guess I can just town portal. Or drop a beacon and then town portal. It's the middle of the night, though. I can't sell anything right now, can I? Nope. It's 12.30 a.m. In fact, if I don't hurry up, I won't even be able to heal. So, I need to find a kitty that's as adorable as this one. No, that's not possible. Well, I do have two more kitties, so they're kind of adorable, too. Uh, ow. Um, I need to... Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and enchant item that. Yeah, we're just going to leave that armor there. It's not that good. I don't care that much. Let's sell beta, I guess. We're done with this place. Let's get out of here. Um, when's haste expire? I've got an hour. I'm good. Time, por time portal. Usurpical. Hurry up and heal. There we go. Okay, and I'm assuming you are closed. Yeah, you close at 10 at night. That's what I thought. All right. So let's go talk with Sir Albert Newton because we might as well. Out in mist since he's the one that sent us on that foolhardy quest. Fly, whee, flying, move fast, gotta go fast. Now I have, all I have to do is remember how to create the mirror. I wrote down all the important parts so I wouldn't forget how to do it. Where did I put those notes? I must have left them somewhere obvious, maybe in the laboratory. Anyway, your part in this is done, and I thank you. You'll have my complete support in the council for this. What were your names again? Thanks again for letting getting the hourglass for me. If only I could remember where I put it. And you have my support in the council as long as you need it, though. So, that is the last council quest, but we still have to deal with Slicker Silver Tongue, which I kind of loop into the council quests. We should probably stop this one here. Yeah, let's not go overboard on this. Um, we'll stop this episode here. Hope you've enjoyed it. And yeah, I could probably do one more episode. So I'll just stop and start recording from here.
goodbye. I'll see you next time. Let's also save in the correct save slot. That helps. There we go. Enjoy the rest of your day, Internet.